Hi, this is Denise with Paper Crafty, and today I am going to be sharing with you a project that I make for um, a challenge that Marcy Davis, uh, on her Marcy Davis Junk Journal and Friends Facebook group, is uh, hosting. It's a learn one, make one, share one February challenge. Um, and the idea behind this is that, you know, we all are inspired by things that we see on YouTube. Um, and, you know, it's just fun to try out different things and to then share, you know, make those things and then share what we've made uh, with everybody else. So in that spirit, um, I want to share this little kind of envelope pocket uh, that Corey Dahman made uh, in one of her videos, and I'll link that in the comment section below, as well as Marcy's uh, YouTube and Facebook group, um, so that you can join in the challenge if you'd like to. But this is just super fun. This is a really cute little um, envelope uh, pocket, and I have so many of these little six by six pads. And it uses up these six by six pads. These are from my scrapbooking days. Um, you know, I, I still do some scrapbooking, but not nearly as much as I did before. And when I do scrapbook, I don't use these types of products generally. Mainly I'm doing pocket scrapbooking and, and you know, Project Life card type things. So with that in mind, I need to use these up. <laughs> what do you, I want to use these up. So I'm going to... I've already made one out of this paper pack. I want to see how long it takes me to use up this entire paper pack. There's 24 sheets in here. How long it takes me to make, well, 11 more of these. So you have know, already made one. So that would be, you know, half of that would be 12. I've already made one. So I, how long it takes me to make 11. Um, and so I'm going to take you along for the ride. And you can, I'm basically going to be mass making these little, envelope pockets and I just think these would be super cute in a journal and also they'd be really great you know just friend mail um, and you know for putting little embellishments in and a letter that type of thing and also really good for including in uh, if you have a, a Etsy shop um, for thank you letters you know just like little extra gifts and little die cuts and things like that uh, in the back so anyhow that's what I'm going to be doing today and these are the supplies I'm going to be using. It's super simple. Um, I really like this project because it uses up all of the paper. You know, nothing really goes to waste. Um, and it's pretty fast. But I'm going to be using a, uh, a scoreboard, um, my little bone folder. And probably when I go to actually, this is what I use for scoring. And when I actually go to fold it, I'll probably use my Teflon bone folder because I really like this one. Um, I'm going to be using a two inch circle punch to make these little cutouts here. And then I'm going to be uh, distressing the edges with my uh, gathered twigs distress oxide pad and my little brush. Okay, so pretty simple. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, um, I really like the double-sided uh, paper pads because I like that there's interest when you open and you see inside because you do have a tendency to see inside. Um, so I'm using just double-sided paper pads for this. Um, you know, if you have just single-sided, you can use those as well but that's just not what I'm choosing to do. Um, and I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to tear these out. That's the direction I want them. All right, I'm just gonna go through and see which ones I definitely want as the um, this outside pocket. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find these, you're really going to just want to see one side. This with the flap, you're going to see both sides. So I'm trying to pick ones that like one side I definitely don't like as much as the other. 
Now these, I really like both sides. This one we could probably put as an exterior. I don't like this, the interior of this quite as much. Although I do, you know, I don't know. I do like it too. 11, okay. Okay, so I have two piles. I want this to be the top and this to be the top. So I'm going to turn them sideways like this. Okay, and I'm gonna do all of these first. Move these out of the way. This is gonna be the, these are all gonna be the flaps. And I have them so that the in, they're like this, okay? So I need to score all of these at two inches. Okay, actually I'm gonna turn them around this way because I'm gonna score them two inches right there. I might as well turn these around the same way. Put them off to the side there, okay. Okay, wish me luck, here we go. All right, and then for these, I'm just gonna score these at two and a half. So that'll be this portion right here. Okay, so now because I am just the slightest bit anal retentive, I am going to uh, find the center of these. And this is six by six, so it should be a three, right? There we go. Why is it going bigger than, I don't know. That's so weird. Okay, there we go. Three by th three and three. All right, and I'm just gonna add a line just like that. Pretty much the center. So this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just go the three mark, just kinda go. Hmm. It pretty much shows, I think, on all of them-ish. Yeah, it marks, okay, good. All right, and then you can see I, I kind of cut a, a shallower hole on this side and a bigger hole on this side, but it doesn't really, really matter. And you don't even need to mark the centers if you don't want to. If you're just in a hurry and just want to get them, get them done, it's not at all necessary. All right, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it now. Kind of keeping that little mark in the center. And I'm gonna save that. Now do the other side. And this I'm gonna The great thing about this is they don't have to be, you know, totally the same because they're going to be on different sides. You're not going to, you're not going to see them at the same time. So if they're not the same depth, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so more or less, these look pretty even. You know, it's not absolutely perfect, but you know, pretty good. All right, and then 
I like to take these, and Cori didn't do this. She just rounded the edges, and you can just do that really quick, you know, with a corner rounder. But I like to take these. I guess you will need a pair of scissors as well. Um, and I start about half an inch up. So from this fold, I start an inch up, and then I just kind of curve the edges. And that gives it this nice... Um, envelope look to it. This one I'm going to give it more of a uh, angle it more. I kind of like that look a little bit better. Yeah, I like that. All right, so the next part I'm going to do, and you don't need to do this. You can, if you really want to speed up the process, you don't need to do this at all. But I'm going to go through and ink up the edges on this. Now, for these, for the flaps, I'm going to ink up. This is the outside. If it doesn't, if it has a little thing. I'm just going to. Seems a little pointy there. I'm just going to smooth it with my fingers. Okay, so now for these. For the ones with the flaps here all right um you can see you're not going to see all this lower part here you don't need to ink that up you're not going to see all of that so i'm basically going to ink up from here up on both the both sides because you're going to see both sides of this right Okay, so I inked up all of those, and if you can see on this one, on these, you know, you're really not going to see much of the, so this is what I have as the outside of this. So this is how it would fold over. So you're not going to see pretty much this side at all. Um, so I'm gonna ink up the entire outside of this, including the crease and this, and then I might just do the interior, just this, you know, top portion, because that might be visible a little bit. Okay, so you can see that by, you know, doing these kind of assembly line, you get into a groove um, where you do the same kind of motions over and over again. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and glue these. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Just going to go up the sides here, put it in the cute that looks. Super duper cute. But I'd like to go through each of these. You can see them. This this was the original. This was the prototype. Really cute with this little back pocket. Okay, and then this one's, you know, the same two papers. So essentially the same one. This one's really cute, a little bit more neutral has a little surprise when you open it. 
I really like this one. This is super cute and bright and colorful with more understated flowers in the interior. I've got this one, which is super pretty. Love that little pop of flowers on the, the side there. And then it opens up to some flowers. And you've got this one. Opens up to that pattern on the inside. You got that on the back. Because of the um, kind of paper that I use, that it's so highly patterned, it really don't doesn't need a lot of embellishment to just make this really pretty. Um, it'll be really pretty in a journal or. Um, in a uh, you know just as a as a mailer just really pretty I really like this one too it's very understated I like them all honestly <laughs> they're all really pretty um, oh, I love that the way it opens up with that surprise in there I love these colors, the teals and the, uh, I love that color too. It's really pretty. Okay. All right. So that is my learn one, make one and share one. Uh, actually it's more, I, sh I, I made more than one. I, I mass made these. Um, but this was for Marcy Davis's, uh, Facebook group, her Marcy Davis Junk Journal and Friends Facebook group challenge. Learn one, make one, share one. It's a February challenge. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like to participate in this challenge, I'll put the link to Marcy's group down below as well as her uh, YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, please follow along. This has been really fun to, to, um, uh, to do this this is you know and this will give me some really great things to put into my stash so that i um am able to you know just pull things very quickly when i'm making an album uh, so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section below and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future please subscribe to my channel again this is denise with paper crafty and have fun getting crafty